politics is an activity uh, to make a general rules as well as decisions on how power and resource should be distributed. Politics are arguments uh, about the ways to reach a better future or, or dream goal, uh, how quickly we should go there, what route we should take, and then also the question of whether it's worth uh, trying to get to that. Politics is the, um, the process of or trying to, to, uh, to attain democracy for everyone. No, uh, politics is uh, more or less a governance related to the governance of a country, a system of governance of a country. This is what I understand. Yeah. Politics is a process where people cooperate or get into conflict over decisions about how to organise things and uh, allocate resources. Politics is just, you know, it's about relationships between people on how we can make the world a better place for all of us. Democracy is a system in which power is exercised directly by the people or through their representatives to bring equality and equity or to bring a fair play. Democracy uh, as an ideal is um, a system in which everyone has an equal voice. But in reality, um, democracy is a political system in which some voices are more equal than others. Uh, I always think of democracy as freedom and liberty for everyone. Yeah, democracy. <laughs> uh, the rule of the people, actually. Uh, but uh, everybody speaks about democracy is like God. Everybody talks about it, but nobody really understands it, you know, or saw so, so it here, especially in our country. <laughs> Democracy is a form of politics and decision making where people who are affected by those decisions have influence over the process, either directly or by electing representatives. When, when, people, when I think of democracy, I think of freedom, I think of justice, I think of equality, I think of being fair to everybody. I think of being more inclusive, regardless of gender, physical status, or whatever, color, skin color, whatever. I'm interested in history. I'm an anthropologist. Actually, my job is completely different from what I'm now doing. Uh, but I've been uh, uh, the president of Ethiopian Writers Association and now the president of Ethiopian Copyright and Neighboring Rights uh, Management Society. Okay, I'm um, generally from uh, social science and humanities to mention like history, uh, sociology, and social work, and social anthropology. I am the director of the Forum for Social Studies which is a research, a policy research organization. I think these disciplines can engage in a very critical and analytical approach to intensely understand and reflect the social process, which also include the political arena. I'm interested in history because it allows you to escape from the froth of the political now. It allows you to look at longer term 
trends to understand the forces, whether they're economic or cultural or social, that drive those trends, and to look at the, uh, the differentiated impacts, who wins and who loses as a result of those trends. And I think by looking at the past, it's also possible to think about alternative futures. Uh, you know, in many cultures, arts uh, play a really major role in terms of uh, disseminating information about democracy in a way that uh, research and um, government can sometimes. And I think by providing opportunities to artists, uh, it, we would help. We will help to uh, deepen understanding of democracy in areas that is not necessarily accessed usually. Uh, in Ethiopian uh, literary tradition, um, it is the uh, man of uh, creative arts and the man of literature who are leading the, 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 the uh, what been teaching the Ethiopian people about politics and about democracy. So uh, our musicians, our writers, um, play play writers in theater, in the drama. So. Uh, uh, more than the politicians and then more than the emperors, it was the creative arts but been teaching uh, our people about their freedom and democracy. I think anthropologists are really good at getting behind the scenes or under the surface of processes and relationships and that's really important in democracy because it's quite hard to know what's going on. And so they can really um, scrutinise and reveal some of the um, power hierarchies and interactions to help people so that they can intervene. I'm part of the Global Research uh, Network for Parliaments and People and we provide uh, grants to academics and artists to research in the areas of politics and democracy. For the next two years, we'll do research on parliaments and people, and we will encourage particularly young scholars. Young scholars will you know, build their capacity. Young scholars and women and people who do not get you know, opportunities for research want to bring these guys on board to be involved in this kind of research. Thank you, thank you.